In today's episode, let's check out Cycle Brand Heritage Incenses Sanji and Santhal. Namaste everyone and welcome to Om Incense Show with DJ, a show that helps you increase your incense quotient. So if you are an incense enthusiast, consider subscribing. So today we'll be checking out two of the incenses from uh, Cycle Brand Heritage. So we have actually four of these variants are there in the market and this is the newest launch. So this is Heritage Madhubani and then we have Varli which is from Maharashtra. So I'll be doing these two later on even though I was very tempted to <laughs> pick up first the Madhubani one because that's the area from where I belong. So but I you know I just thought I'll do Sanji and Santhal because these are uh, you know lesser, no lesser known compared to Madhubani and Varli. So that's the reason I picked up Santhal and Sanji. Uh, before we go ahead I'd just like to tell you one thing you know that you know if you are an artist of, or if you know somebody who is an artist you might just want to reach out to them you know with this uh, episode just share it with them and let them know that this is the kind of uh, incense that they must buy and uh, Cycle Brand is the only incense uh, maker in the country I guess who's doing this kind of work you know they're reaching out to artists because reaching out specifically to artists is a big thing and I've not seen any other incense brand do this so kudos to cycle brand and so that's the one reason i really want you to share this episode with all the artists you know share it in the artist groups and let them know that the proceeds from these incenses go to those people so please buy these incenses as much as you can you know just buy them gift them donate them do whatever but buy them because the proceeds from these incenses are going to the artists in these art forms first i'm doing sanji so let's check out the packaging of Sanji. Sanji, if you know, is an art form from UP, Mathura specifically. And they say that it was started by Radhaji. And uh, so there's a lot of depiction of Krishna in this. And later on, the other gopis also, uh, you know, took up the art form. And this is a very, very typical thing because, you know, the painting that you see here, just check the painting first. This is a stenciled art form. So first, this kind of paint, you know, was first done on a paper and then cutouts were made and then that paper was left on some other paper and then the paint was applied to it and that's how this painting comes. So this is like not just normal painting where you just pick up a pen or a brush and you start to paint. You first have to create a stencil of this paint and then you have to uh, do the painting. That's how difficult it is. So it's like almost two, three processes that goes behind making one of this painting. So it is time consuming like every other art form and it takes some amount of passion and zeal to do this and this actually flourished in the 15th, 16th century and uh, you know it, it's, it's we still haven't lost it and it's time we preserve these kind of art forms. There's a lot of depiction of Krishna as I said Krishna, Radha and nature. So that's the basic thing that we have in this. And if you see because it's Sanji, they've given this nice, you know, brown color, the color of evening because Sanj is a word for evening, dusk, Sandhya. So that's what they've depicted here by the brown color that is there. You know, the overall feel of it is brown. The painting is in beige. We have a Sackle brand logo and the heritage, which is a heritage is a registered name and that also is uh, you know in that r is there then we have sanji it says celebrating indian heritage so this is what we have and you know the a of heritage is a very beautiful temple so if you see that because of course incenses are an offering to gods the temple so hence this and uh, we see a sanji painting a very beautiful sanji painting you know in fact you can even cut this out and you know get this framed in a small little mini frame and then you can place it somewhere it's a very beautiful form you can use it uh, you know if you make diy pencil boxes you can make a bookmark out of it you can do so many other things you know once the incense gets over just just cut this out this painting and you'll be able to use it in so many other forms 
so if you buy it four boxes you have four paintings and the four paintings that you can use in four different ways so that could be a good idea so that is the front of it on one side we have heritage written in a few you know languages so one is hindi uh, four of them are south indian and one i guess is bengali or maithili so one of those and then they have the caution and then we have shop online cycle.in and a scanning code so this is what we have then on the other side we have cycle brand logo nr nagarao logo manufacturing and exporting address uh, product feedback details content says handcrafted agarbattis 62 grams for 50 rupees and then we have a scanning code you know the link of all of these incenses will be there in the description box please check the description box and i'll also uh, pin them in the comments so you can check that also and uh, just go ahead and buy this guys you know you must we must spread the knowledge about this thing because this is a very unique initiative of cycle brand i'm very impressed on both the openings we have heritage cycle like that this is what we have on both the openings and it's taped with a branded tape of cycle on the back side what we have again is heritage uh, sorry the cycle brand logo heritage sanji prayer incense celebrating indian heritage and it says this fragrance is a tribute to the ritualistic ceremonial art of sanji from mathura and vrindavan then we have a few logos it says for pure prayers empowering women since 1948 and now empowering artists also we have certified carbon zero uh, manufacturing they are plant sacred native trees so they they specifically plant trees around the temples and that's a very big thing recycling packaging exported to 65 countries purest ingredients used three generations in fragrance creation so that's what we have so like this painting you have you know you can just cut this strip and use it as a bookmark it's going to be a very good one or you could just cut this from this you know painting from here let your creativity flow and do something about it because it would be a waste to just let this go because if you have to go out and buy a painting like this it's going to cost you at least a few hundred rupees if not few thousands and so the same thing we have in santal also except that you know the color combination is different it's according to santhal so santhal if uh, we know uh, santhals are santhalis actually are a group of people who live in santhal pragna santhal pragna is an area which uh, is in bihar bengal and jharkhand so it stretches in that region and uh, uh, santhalis are people who are very very down to earth very humble connected to earth and uh, they're very you know very happy very joyful kind of people and very very hard working and extremely honest so that's the kind of uh, people they are and very connected to nature so in the painting also if you see if you see this painting this is a santhal painting so the look is very earthy you know this orangish brownish kind of color that we have it's very beautiful and uh, the depiction is all of nature and uh, women of course and all the musical instruments that they have if you see the drums and stuff they have depicted there the usual uh, you know way of life that's what is depicted in most of santhal paintings and even though i belong to bihar you know and i have a few santhali friends i never knew that santhal painting is something which is like it's a big hit and uh, people who go to shanti niketan in kolkata come back with memories of santhal paintings that's how famous it is this is amazing i'm i'm really really impressed by cycle brand so <laughs> they always come up with something to impress me so that's what we have beautiful painting again use it in a myriad ways you know use it the way you can so uh, the same thing we have the heritage santhal you know celebrating indian heritage santhal paintings and the all the other components are the same like in the sanji one so it's the same uh, what we have inside this packaging is a simple pouch like this which has branding on it so cycle heritage branding is there it's a plain plastic pouch which branding on this and normal regular regular sized incense there's something very 
specific about this very unique about this uh, incense you know the incense is textured i don't know if you can see that the incense is textured you know so even if you just it's like brown it's dark brown but if you just touch it like that it's you can feel some texture and it feels like you know some form of grass or something is stuck to this it looks very beautiful looks very pretty this has a very fresh resinous kind of fragrance it's like you know fresh resin sapping uh, you know oozing out of the tree that kind of fragrance it has very fresh so that's the kind of fragrance that I can get from the Sanji incense. Now let's light up the incense and check out the fragrance of it. I'll also be lighting up the Santhal one. I'm doing two today instead of the usual one because I wanted to cover two of these. So I'm doing two of these today. Also, Satish has requested that, you know, I must do two of these because there are four variants. He wanted to check out two. So I'm doing this. And uh, with Vatanji, I also wanted me to check out uh, the heritage one. So this is here. Let's light up the incense and check out the fragrance of it. I really love that fragrance of wood that the incense gives out. So that fresh resinous fragrance is still there. They have given a hint of patchouli in this. There is a hint of floral probably because they've said that they've used lily of valley in this. So patchouli and lily of valley is the uh, note that they've given here. So lily of valley is, you know, it's at base, The it's very undertoned, it's very understated. The, the prominent fragrance that I can get from this is of patchouli. And the fresh resin that I'd said, so that is the kind of fragrance that I can get from here. And of course, the normal wooden fragrance of an incense, incense stick. If we talk of intensity, the fragrance is not very strong, but it's not very mild either. So it comes to life just like that. You know, the moment you light it up, it comes to life. However, the fragrance is not in your face. It, it comes to life, but it takes time to build up that profile, the profile of the fragrance where you can get a hint of floral and the hint of patchouli. Uh, so that is that takes time so it's a mid intensity uh, fragrance the patchouli in this makes it ideal for puja and meditation or any other practice where you want to relax and unwind it would be a good thing to try this and if you are a painter you would want to just light this up and you know while you're doing your painting or you're reading something regarding the paintings or you know, just trying to calm yourself down before a painting session and something like that. And uh, light this up in the evenings in your balcony at your main door. You can even light this up before you sleep at night because it induces stillness and tranquility. And that's the reason it could be a good one to help you aid in sleeping better. So that's Sanji with hint of patchouli and lily of valley. Heritage Sanji. Now let's check out Heritage Santhal which comes in a packaging like this. So it's like plain pouch with cycle heritage written in blue here. That's the kind of packaging we have. Again it's the normal size regular sized incense and it, the, it has that same texture that was there in the Sanji one also. That grassy texture that it has on top. Very beautiful. Oh this is very fresh. It has a nice, very kind of uh, citrusy resinous fragrance. If you can think of something like that, it's like that. That's what we can get from the cold incense. Now let's light up the incense and check out the fragrance of it. Upon lighting up, the resin takes over. The citrusy, uh, you know, undertone gets subdued somewhere. You can get a faint fragrance of sandalwood in this. A little bit spicy at the base. The base is spicy. Uh, if if you can think of something like that. So it's like, you know, uh, sandalwoody and spicy kind of fragrance. It, 
brings you to, it brings you to life it wakes you up it refreshes you it's like that the sanji one was to let you sleep because it's sanji new and it's time to sleep this one wakes you up you know because uh, santhal people are very hard working very very connected to nature so like you know at dawn they'll wake up so this is that kind of fragrance wakes you up so this would be ideal for your morning prayer uh intensity wise if we say this also is neither mild nor soft uh, sorry neither strong nor mild this is also mid intensity because it comes to life just like that you know just the moment you light it but the profile takes time to build up so that's the kind of fragrance this is this is a nice peppy kind of fragrance so you know it's a, it's a nice pick me up you know <laughs> light it up for your children if you are they're not uh, willing to study before and they're feeling sleepy you know light this up for them that citrusy tone that was there in the cold incense is not there once you light it up that is heritage santhal the dj star rating for sanji and santhal both of them are 3 because i like these fragrances a lot and i'm going to use them a lot so that's the reason i give them 3 stars so we've discussed sanji and santhal today I hope you like these incenses. I'll give them as gifts to some painters, some artists, and just spread word about word about this, uh, you know, uh, incense, and uh, let people know that the proceeds from these are going to these particular artists of these art forms. So, in the last quiz, I'd ask you which is your favorite art form. My favorite art form is Madhubani painting. The quiz for today is, which is the incense mostly used? in the mithila region to give you a hint mithila region is almost spanning bihar and nepal so it's a fragrance that is prevalent both in bihar and nepal so which is the fragrance the incense and the incense form that is used in mithila mostly so i hope you liked today's episode and learned something from it if you think somebody else can learn something from it to share it with them link of all the incenses in the description box and in the comment section and till we meet again next take very good care of yourself namaste